But see, this man's blindness was not a tragedy. It was not a burden. It was not a mistake. It was not a sin or it was not a punishment from God. In fact, I want to submit to you this, that his blindness, his limitation was a revelation. It was a, shall we say, an epiphany, an announcement that our perceived limitations, that our metaphorical blindness, that our weaknesses and our restrictions are in fact what helps us see God in us and in others. But is it not true that we too easily view one another through a one-dimensional lens? And so we come up with our biases. We come up with our assumptions. And we say things like, Oh, that person is poor because... Oh, that person is overweight because. Oh, that person is incarcerated because. Is sick because. Is being deported because. Is experiencing mental health because. Oh, that person is gay or trans because. See, the truth is this. We don't know. The truth is that we don't know the story of that person. It's like Ki Hoi Kwan. Did you hear his Oscars speech? You don't know until you know. It's like David Archuleta's coming out story. We don't know until you know. It's like George Floyd's video. You don't know until you know. And I guess what I'm submitting to you this morning is that as students of Jesus, as people who claim to be walking in the enlightenment of God, in the light of Christ, people who call themselves followers of Jesus, this Jesus who broke all the rules, healed on the Sabbath, made a blind man see, that don't you think that those people that are called to be that, that we need to turn our assumption and our biases into better questions, into curiosity, into learning, into growing, into evolving, into openness and willingness to listen to the vast diversity of God in this world. What liberation for what? I would say is for us to take our limitations, those things that we have been trying to hide, those things that we want no one to know about, those things that we perceive as, dis as disadvantages, and turn them into successes, into beauty, into positive and favorable and wonderful things. For a dad who is sending his daughters off to college, whoever that is, from grief, from sadness, from agony, from discomfort, to joy, to laughter, to happiness, to gladness, to a proud father. You understand? May you take whatever you perceive to be a disadvantage in your life and turn it into beauty, into a wonderful thing. For that is the God that we serve and love. For that is what God does with someone who was born blind at birth. Maybe no one will believe you. <laughs> But God knows it, and God is with you. And that is so good, such good news for us today. Wherever you are in your journey, wherever you are in this spectrum of life, 
May you encounter the divine, the healing, the beauty that God is doing, even through the most messiest things in your Word of God and Word of Life, we all say together, thanks be to God.